Hey guys, it's KDK here and today I'm going to try out Delson's rank 1 legend jade druid. So the interesting thing about this particular jade build is the fact that we are running the Erton scales, which a lot of people caught recently. And I was kind of wondering why, because I still feel it's kind of strong card. And when you uh, remove the Feral Rages from the deck, I mean... I don't kind of feel that safe against the uh, aggressive uh, aggressive decks, so I really like this inclusion. I mean, the Malfurion gives you gives you armor and like option to armor to get like three armor per turn, but not every game you are able to play him and even get him to hand. And the Erdon scale is just one mana, so really flexible, I think. Okay, guys. Stay tuned and remember. Just have fun. So I must protect we have like two options, right? It's going to be like the tempoish with DK or it's going to be Pirate Warrior, which I think is the most likely. I think we want to get rid of everything and try to find Doomsayer for example. Inner weight is not that. Jade Idol on the turn 1 is pretty solid versus aggro, if it's aggro. He's coining something out, probably. Dirt Rat. So it's not going to be aggro after all. I think we can just peacefully clear the Dirty Rat. Next turn we can Jade Blossom, Jade Spirit, and then we got two two more cards by that time. And we can iterate something out. We will see. He doesn't have Execute, which is really good for us. I mean, the fact that he pulled out uh, Primordial and not the Jade Spirit is pretty lucky, I would, I would say. And I'm not really sure. Uh, I mean, I'm not really sure. Cartoon Warrior? Ooh. I just created one myself. This is a pretty solid one. You should definitely check it out. It will pop up in the right corner. Check it out, guys. But I'm glad that someone is playing Cartoon. It's a really fun concept. Alright, Malfurion. Hmm, I don't think we are going to play anything. It's clear when face Serena. Next there Malfurion obviously. Into inner waiting out the ultimate infestation. Stonehold Defender in a cartoon deck. Well that's not in mine though. Yeah, just playing Malfurion. Let's pick uh, two poisonous spiders. And we are going to clear like this. Next turn, inner weight ultimate infestation into whatever. I think that's just going to be game over. Rolling. Well. That's a choice as well. The worst one, is it? Ah, oh, kinda, whatever. We still got this. So we have 7 on the board, plus this, plus certain scales. Let's generate out 3 attack. And we are most likely going to finish the game in the next turn. Alright. Hmm, it's not quite lethal, right? Okay. We are swiping like this, clearing. 
I'm like playing the Jade Spirit maybe. Sure. I think we could even like consider playing the Jade Idol just a 5-5 because we are most likely going to end the turn uh, and the game soon. But it's kinda greedy and I don't want to throw dirt and skills yet. Maybe we should consider like um, playing dirt and skills here to protect it from the ghouls and stuff like that, but I'm not sure if it's like worth it. And it could be like one more damage that he is not counting with. Shield slam. Wow. So we have 7 damage, 8 damage probably. Fender. Alright. Uh, we want to shuffle first. Spreading plague you. Alright, we cleared with our face and punching him. Well. That's little. Okay, let's queue into a real deck now. So, Anduin. Hmm. I'm really thinking if, uh, I mean, spreading Plaguey, we are going to throw away this, but like keeping the Doomsayer just if he's going like some early game ish stuff, we can just play it and deny him something. I like it. I love to keep it. I mean, it sounds pretty like mm, not, uh, not ideal versus Priest, but I feel if they overwhelm you uh, at the start, it's bad. And I think that's one of the ways you could practically lose the game. At least it uh, was like that with the Dragon Priest, so he could just out tempo you and you would just die. Hmm. I'm thinking if I want to innovate the Mire Keeper, but we can like coin it next turn and. I like it more because he's not doing anything as well, so there's no like. We are not in need to play the Mire Creeper, you know. I feel like it. Tar Creeper, sure. Oh, Jade Blossom, though. All right, we played Jade Blossom. Keep the coin, and maybe we can like consider playing the Doomsayer. What? At last, a worthy disciple. I don't get uh, I don't get this emote, whatever. Let's greet him. <laughs> Alright. I think we can just like play the dooms here and just wait. How is he going to deal with it? <laughs> Earth and Scales and Doomsayer, what value is this? <laughs> well, or we could like... I like the Doomsayer a lot, but I don't know if I want to play the Mire Keeper. Hmm. Or just playing the Mire Keeper? Um, let's do this. The, I feel it's kind of greedy, greedier play, but if it procs, I think we are in really good spot. And if it doesn't, then I feel like we are in not that spot as well. We are just delaying the game, something that we need need to. Yeah, so he used the pain. Uh, well, it was he has only one copy of each card, so it wasn't that likely he's going to have it, but. Now we can red off the Kazakus and ramp up with Mire Keeper. Alright. We, 
we have seven cards. Uh, I mean six cards. So like I don't know, we cannot play it next turn. We because of played Earth and Scales. Well, we will see about this. Alright, that's kind of tempo-ish uh, potion. Like, not dealing with the board at all, so... We could play, uh, like, a Primordial... Primordial Red. And next turn we can coin out Ultimate Infestation. Yeah, that's pretty good. Clearing a whole board and placing a 4 attack minion versus priest is pretty solid. And next turn we just coin this out and everything works out. I mean if you get to the point where you play the ultimate infestation and like uh, when you play it you are not um, behind at the board. I mean we are now, actually we are winning the board state and next turn we are playing ultimate infestation. That's just like a disaster for the priest. I don't think he's going to deal with it anyhow. That's just... I think it's over. <laughs> but maybe not. Wow, wild road. I definitely think he could have uh, got uh, worse things. Or like better things for him, worse for me. You know, you know how I mean it. Clearing it up, pretty solid board state again, clear board, card draw. The ultimate infestation is really busted guys, it's like, I feel it's the reason why the druid is just better and better. And Jade Idol, immune to fatigue, ramping up, Malfurion, like the best DK in the game I guess, and ultimate infestation and spreading plague you against the aggro. Oh, so many tools, I mean. Hmm, alright. Fender. We don't really want to draw, right? We have a lot of things to play. I feel like I want to earth and scale this and clear the Raza. I don't want to earth and scale this because it will be vulnerable to Shadow or Dead. And he's not going to kill it, I think. So, like this, clearing this, playing Behemoth, and face. Maybe we could draw, like, yeah, sure. We should have drawn, like, at the start of the turn, but. Whatever. First Jade Idol. Yeah, I think it's over. Dragon's Potion. Dragon Fire Potion. Okay. He cleared something, at least. And he's going to draw, well... Alright. I still, I still think we are in pretty good spot. What about just playing the Plague You when he just used Dragonfire Potion? We're not going to get, um, like, uh, it's not going to get better. Because we are going to fill our board like crazy, so I feel like playing this at this moment isn't that bad. Plus Jade Spirit and clearing this. 2 1 fires for. 5 mana basically, but against the control-ish matchups, it's like, I think the best value you are going to get. Our Jades are kinda going as well, next time we can play Fendral Nourish and just play whatever we get. So that's going to be crazy. Let me change your mind. Um, well I didn't expect Cabal Shadow Priest, but whatever. It's not a disaster for us, so I don't really care. The best thing is that we still have freaking ultimate infestation in our deck. So, 
So he guessed right. He got my card. Sure, let's play the nourish. Jade I'll Sure it's something I, I wanted to see I guess. I think we'd rather play this because we can play the hero as hero power as well, that means we can get a better trade here. Um Let's think about the trades for a while. I mean this goes here, this could trade this and this could trade this, I guess, yeah. I mean, we have no problem in or with trading. I mean, we are the one who probably is going to win the value game. If he doesn't, like, burn us alive with DK Shadow, the, with the, you know, hero power of the priest DK. And mm, I think we should be a bit careful with playing all of our Jades at one moment, because he can just one-shot them with the Anduin right now or from this moment far on further on Hmm, Primordial I'm thinking about his trading plague you. Well, that's kind of good top deck. Let's play like this. It's threatening enough. I mean, five, five, three, and six, six. It's kind of threatening for him. And maybe he, we could force him to use the Anduin here if he has it. It's like not the worst board. And he will die in two turns, probably, if he doesn't manage to clear it somehow. So we will see. I oh, it's Sarah. Wow. Yeah, we are going to clear it. Of course, we are going to. And just play the Io. If he plays the Anduin, he destroys the Io and spawning 8 8 8 Jade. Yeah, we should have drawn first, but. What can you do, man? What can you do? Yeah. So there's 8 8, and he could have healed himself, but. I guess he didn't want to. The shadows grow short. And sure, now we can play these two together and just finish the game next turn, hopefully. Dream is pretty solid. Doomsayer, not something we are looking for. He has no answers now and we have 1921. Uh, 24 damage. Well, that's not enough. We need Swipe or Malfurion or Ultimate Infestation. Darkness speaks to me. Hmm. Top deck should have worked that. Interesting. Yeah, he did a lot of damage to my face. I feel like we need some armor gain. Not with Jade Idol though. Okay, let's draw, right? Draw. 
create this here, we are forced to do this, right? Uh, we cannot play the Malfury and Sable, so let's just play this, this, shuffle this, I guess, and hope that we are not going to die. Yeah, this is exactly the spot where I could use second, uh, for example, second Earthen Scales instead of the Spreading Plague you. But it really depends on what are you facing, so... He has uh, 6 cards that mean he could possibly do 12 damage, but we don't know if he doesn't have like Mind Blast or Prophet Velen, but it seems to that he doesn't have it because he plays Isera, and that means he... Maybe he has just he just have it for the late game value, but it's possible that he doesn't have like the Velen. And a lot of people are not playing the Velen, which uh, I find kind of confusing. But what Eva? I don't think he has enough. Sure not. And we got the little. Well played. You have bested me. Alright guys, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed and you maybe could use my piece of, uh, piece of advice on these matchups. Have a nice day guys and subscribe to my channel.